Americans. Now, I think Sally Yates must have known that she was um, going to be replaced anyways. But, and so this stance did not come at a huge price for her. But so what? It was the right thing to do. I mean, you had seen multiple court cases over the past 48 hours. The government lose. And by all accounts, like the government lawyers didn't even know how to in any way defend this. And we know this is part of Sally Yates's job description. And how do we know this? Because back in March of 2015, Sally Yates had to be confirmed by the Senate for her job as then the assistant DOJ, and excuse me, assistant uh, attorney general. And she was, I don't know, it wasn't grilled, but she was asked and questioned and wanted to hear this from a, a senator that she was going to maintain some measure of independence. That if there was something that was wrong about a law, she would not hesitate to say this law is wrong or this is illegal or unconstitutional. And she was questioned by a Republican senator on this. In fact, she was questioned by none other than Jefferson Beauregard Sessions on this very question. If I'm in a discussion where people have different views, I want to make sure I've got what I need to back up my views. Well, um, you, you have to watch out because people will be asking you to do things you need, just need to say no about. Do you think the Attorney General has a responsibility to say no to the President uh, if he asks for something that's improper? A lot of people have defended the Lynch nomination, for example, by saying, well, he appoints somebody who's going to execute his views. What's wrong with that? But if the views the president wants to execute are unlawful, sh should the attorney general or the deputy attorney general say no? Uh, Senator, I believe that the attorney general or the deputy attorney general has an obligation to follow the law and the Constitution and to give their independent legal advice to the president. Wow, I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> now... Now, uh, because we have a uh, Muslim-born Kenyan <laughs> socialist as the president. <laughs> now, Mrs. Yates, you are aware that you are going to be asked to implement Sharia law, <laughs> are you not? Would you find that compatible with the Constitution? So there you have uh, Jeff Sessions saying that what um, Sally Yates, two years before she did it, did was totally appropriate. This is totally hypothetical and unprompted. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. The real question now, as they are holding a hearing for Jeff Sessions, who was a key figure on the Trump campaign, one of the first supporters of Donald Trump, whose chief of staff whose closest aides now work in the Trump administration. In fact, one of them co-wrote his inaugural speech. Can that guy actually meet the same standard that he demanded of Sally Yates two years ago? There's every reason to believe that this immigration law, at the very least, came out of conversations that Steve Bannon had with Jeff Sessions that apparently were ongoing. In the clip I played yesterday, when Bannon contradicted Trump's rambling about wanting educated, affluent immigrants in the country, and he said, I think we're not just an economic culture, we're also a civic culture. He said, I'm with Sessions on this. Like he quoted him specifically. That when, when someone says like I'm a uh, uh, that that notion of civic culture is uh, basically code word for um, I'm not a full on white supremacist insofar as I don't like to wear sheets. 
you know, it's just like basically uh, different, just slightly different variant of white nationalism. That's full on white supremacy. Where the wearing sheets part is where you, when you want to also kill the people. Okay, you, uh, I stand corrected. And that Sessions uh, supposedly also, I think it's important to note, Trump was interested in him as Secretary of State because Trump's sort of personal regard for the guy, but Sessions preferred Attorney General. He wants that sp position specifically. Because right, he knows yeah, because, he can actually yeah, do the most damage exactly. to our, our, our society. Exactly. 